Okay, so we're looking at the pizza slicer and our focus is going to be on the handle. So I'm just going to zoom in on that section of the drawing here. So if we just scroll down a wee bit to the right, just going a little bit more. And you can see the sort of detail that we've got. What we have is a series of profiles and they are set back at certain distances. So we're going to need a few work planes. We're going to need our first work plane, a second work plane, a third work plane and then a fourth work plane and we're going to be using a mixture of the loft tool we're going to use the revolve tool and we'll do a little bit of extrude subtract and a little bit of fillet as well to create this handle of the pizza slice so i've already created this in solidworks but just wanted to kind of talk you through so if i actually uh, show you the full thing complete that's what it looks like but i'm just going to take away some of these steps here and just focus in on the loft what i've actually got is i've got this sketch here and then i had to do an offset work plane which was set back at i think it was 30 millimeters to create the second profile which is another ellipse and then i've got another profile set back 50 millimeters which was a circle and then another uh, profile which is a diameter of 12 set back 30 millimeters if you're not so confident in doing offset work planes check out the quick video on how to produce them then it was as simple or uh, simple as selecting the loft tool and just lofting between each of those profiles the next wee stage at the back i used a revolve so let's just zoom in on this section here and have a closer look at the revolve so that involved a sketched profile which is a quarter of a circle it looks like so and i revolved it around this axis here and that gave me this kind of half sphere shape that's on there so involved sketching a profile revolving it around that center axis there and that gave me that feature there on this end here, that's a simple uh, extrude subtract where we have sketched a rectangle and then extrude subtract that in. And then just to finish the handle, I did a little bit of fillet filleting on the front edge here. So in some ways, fairly simple. It's just the, the steps to go through of creating each of the profiles for the loft using an offset work plane. A little bit of a a uh, task there using the revolve tool but you should be fairly confident with that and obviously using fillet and extrude subtract is something you should be fairly confident with as well